Hi guys, Rachel here again at the Frank Buck Zoo. I have Tiana with me today, our lesser hedgehog Teneric, to talk about some ways that animals cope with cold weather. Now, although she has hedgehog in her name, Tiana is anything but a hedgehog. She makes up um, one species of Teneric. This is a type of animal that is only found in Madagascar, and there's about 30 of them all together. This particular species is very arboreal. You can see she's kind of climbing around and hanging onto my hands here. She has sharp little claws that allow her to climb up just about anything. Um, so you could naturally find these guys up in the trees quite a bit. They are nocturnal. Um, as we can kind of see when we look at her face, she has really small little eyes, but long whiskers and big ears. So she relies on those a lot more to navigate her world in the darkness than she does on her eyes. So what is Tiana doing all night in the dark? Looking for food. These guys are mostly insectivores, um, meaning that they eat primarily insects. So again, climbing around in the trees could be a great way of finding food. Now, food might not always be available year round, depending on the weather. In the winter, there might not be as much to find and Tiana needs to have another strategy. Now, she lives here in the Northern Hemisphere, but her species is from the Southern Hemisphere. So for her, winter is gonna be what we think of as summer months. So what Tiana does during our summer and her winter is she enters a state called torpor. A lot of people aren't very familiar with this term, but they are familiar with the term hibernation. So let's talk about that first. Now, a lot of animals do enter hibernation. Um, examples are animals like bats and marmots. Marmots are the largest animal that fully hibernates. And what this means is the animal's metabolism decreases dramatically. It can be down to about a tenth of what it normally is. Their body temperature drops significantly and their breathing and heart rate can slow to only a couple beats or a couple breaths per minute. They're very inactive during this time and it can take them a lot of energy to wake up. If you've ever heard that bats can die if they're waking up too many times during hibernation, that's actually true. That's because it takes them so much of their energy reserves every time they wake up that they could starve to death if they wake up too many times and there's no food around to replenish their energy sources. Now, Tiana doesn't do quite this. She does what's a little bit of a lighter form of hibernation, which is that word I said earlier, torpor. So animals that go into torpor do decrease their body temperature and their heart rate, but it's usually by only a couple degrees. Um, and it's kind of like they're in a deep sleep. They can wake up anytime that they want to. If the weather is nice, um, they might even get up and go for a walk, get a drink, look for some food, something like that. Um, but otherwise they can sleep a lot over the period of maybe three to five months. Now we have another animal here at the zoo that also goes into torpor. Does anybody know what it is? It's our American black bears. So again, we usually think of bears going into hibernation, uh, but remember I said in hibernation, an animal doesn't really wake up and do anything um, at all. And our bears can get up if they want to. Um, sometimes on sunny days, we might see them out wandering around in their exhibit, but most of the time they choose to stay inside and rest until the weather warms up. All right, thanks for joining us today, guys. We'll see you next time.